to the topic of circle theorems PMR. Okay, here I have for you a clone question based on the year 2005, paper 1. Now you must have seen the graphics or the tutorial where all the theorems of circles have been given and all the useful knowledge that you need to solve questions concerning circles. Okay, let's see how this is done. Okay, you are given B, C, D, E is a cyclic quadrilateral. A, B, C is a straight line and you're given this angle, huh? it's 95 degrees, this is 1, 2, 0, you are asked to find the value of P. Okay, let's apply the angle theorem. Okay, the circle theorems. First, angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So if this is 120, this angle is 60 degrees. This angle is half of this. Okay? Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Okay, now we use another theorem, another circle theorem. The exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. So, P plus 60 equals to 95. P plus 60 equals to 95. From here we get P is equals to 95 minus 60, you get 35. The value of P is 35. If you apply the right theorems, it is so easy. Thank you. Hi. Here I have for you another question on circles. Okay, based on the year 2005. Okay. This question has something to do with the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, let's see how this is done. Now you are given that OQ equals to 5 centimeters. Okay, and then if this angle is 90 degrees, this is also 90 degrees. You are given the length of QOT equals to 18 centimeters. QOT, 18 centimeters. Therefore, the length of OT is 18 minus 5. That is 13 centimeters. Okay, that is the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle is 13 centimeters. So if this is the radius, OT is the radius, OR is also the radius. Therefore, OR is 13 centimeters. You are asked to find the value of the length of PQR. Okay, let's see. Now, if you are familiar with the Pythagoras theorem, you must have known that the, one of the useful values, if this is 5, if this is 13, this length is 12, 12 centimeters. Therefore, this QR is 12 centimeters. If QR is 12, PQ is also 12 centimeters. They are equal. So, PQR, the length of PQR, length of PQR is equal to 12 times 2, that is 24 centimeters. That is your answer. The length of PQR. As simple 
as that. Thank you. Hi. Here I have for you another clone question based on the year 2006. Now you are given a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Okay. MDC, ADN are straight lines. You are asked to find the value of Y. Just simply apply the circle theorems and the angle theorems which you are familiar with by now. Okay. These two lines cut each other like this. Therefore, so if they intersect like this, this angle equals to this angle. Vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay. Now, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, if ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, this angle plus the opposite angle is supplementary. That means 180 degrees. Okay. So, y plus 50 is equal to 180. Therefore, y equals to 180 minus 50. Therefore, answer y equals to 130. As simple as that. If you are well versed with angle theorems or circle theorems, you will find these sums very, very simple. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Here I have for you another clone question on circles based on the year 2007. Now you are given A, B, C, O, D, E. This is a semicircle. Okay? O is the center of the circle. And you are given this angle is 84 degrees. This angle is Y, this is 2Y, this is 3Y. Let's see. You are asked to find the value of Y. Okay, let's see. Which angle theorems you use? Okay, first, you look at triangle OBC. OBC is an isosceles triangle. OB is the radius, OC is also the radius. Therefore, isosceles. If they are isosceles, huh? if OBC is an isosceles triangle, these two base angles are equal. So, how much are the base angles? 1, 8, 0. 1, 8, 0 minus 84. You get 96. Okay, then what do you do? Angle OBC. Angle OBC is equal to 96 divided by 2. That is 48 degrees. This angle is 48 degrees. This is also 48 degrees. Okay? Base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Okay, now let's apply the next circle theorem. This is a semicircle. Angle in a semicircle is a right angle, 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. Angle ABC. Therefore, Y plus 2Y plus 3Y equals, sorry, plus 48 equals to 90 degrees. Okay? 90. From here you get 6y plus 48 equals to 90. 
6 y is equals to 90 minus 48 42 therefore y equals to 42 over 6 equal to 7 this is your answer the value of y as simple as that now make sure you memorize all the angle theorems and the circle theorems and also the useful values regarding the Pythagoras theorem you will find these sums very very simple thank you